We have a third gen 2015 Honda Fit and we're going to be replacing the serpentine belt here and I'll be walking through how I do this. So the hardest part of this job is honestly just getting this thing jacked up and because there's no jack point that's easily accessible near kind of the front of the car, you have to go to the back right there and to get the jack under the car this far, you have to use these wheel ramps. So I've driven this car up already onto these things. And then um, now that I've got up on that, I've got my jack under this thing. So as I move this guy, it's taking the car off these things. And then once I get this thing far enough off the ground, I'm gonna put one of these guys underneath these things here and I'll have to remove these out of the way to do that. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna take off this wheel and then we're going to uh, get back to it. So we just got the wheel off that was four 19 mil nuts and now uh, this is the plastic shield here. I just want to show that on these guys these are the things that are supporting the car. And you should be able to push the car and just double check because you don't want to get killed by this thing. Um, and then I've also got my jack still underneath that supporting it in case anything bad happens. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get this guy off. So that's two plastic poppers here. And then we have a, we want to sign this guy, we have another plastic popper right there. And we have a Phillips screw right here. So we're going to take these out and we'll slip that thing off. All right, so we just got this cover off. And I just stuck a 17 mil wrench around this guy right here. So this is the tensioner for the serpentine belt. And so if you rotate it this way, which is gonna be counterclockwise, if you're staring at the car from this side, look what happens to that belt. So the belt gets slack. So you see that? So with your other hand, when I'm not filming, you're gonna loosen this guy and you'll slip this belt off and I'll show you how you slip the new one on. So now I'm at the uh, top of the engine and I've stuck my 17 mil wrench onto, sorry, I'll let this thing focus. So this guy is on the tensioner and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this wrench up and then into this cord right here and I'm going to tie it and it's going to hold it in place. So this is the setup with the zip tie holding the wrench. This thing's under a fair amount of tension and so the whole point of this is that we're rotating this thing as far as we can this way to give ourselves as much room as we can on our uh, tensioner pulley right there so we can slip on the new belt and now we'll go underneath the car and uh, start getting this thing installed. This is the pulley to the harmonic balancer. This is your AC compressor. Uh, that again is the uh, pulley, the tensioner pulley. And then up there is that final t pulley with uh, some teeth on it. And this guy is your water pump. So the way to do this is to basically put this belt around every single one of the pulleys that have these teeth or these ribs on them because they have these lips and then the last one you'll do uh, is going to be your water pump right here because it's got that smooth lip to slip it on uh, at the end so I'm going to show you guys how it looks like just before I put this thing on you'll make it look like that and then you'll be good to go here's what it looks like the teeth are on the uh, rib side of this guy on all these things and then the last part should be really simple assuming you have the right size belt there's the model number um, and it should just slip right on like that and then we're going to cut that zip tie and just confirm we can see that everything's sitting down nicely the way it should so now i'm going to grab a knife and we'll cut this guy and we'll slip off that bolt or uh, the wrench this trash out and that's looking great so now we're gonna lower this car and you should be good to go